German East Africa was a German colony in the African Great Lakes region, which included what are now Burundi, Rwanda, and the mainland part of present Tanzania. Its area was 994,996 square kilometers, nearly three times the area of present-day Germany. The colony was organized when the German military was called upon to put down a revolt against the activities of a colonial company during the late 1880s. It ended with Imperial Germany's defeat in World War I. Afterwards, the territory was divided between Britain and Belgium and reorganized as a mandate of the League of Nations. History like other powers, the Germans expanded their empire in the Africa Great Lakes region on the basis of fighting slavery and the slave trade. Unlike other imperial powers, however, they never actually formally abolished it, preferring instead to curtail the production of new recruits and regulate the extant slaving business. The colony began with Karl Peters an adventurer who founded the Society for German Colonization and signed treaties with several native chieftains on the mainland opposite Zanzibar. On 3 March 1885, the German government announced it had granted an imperial charter to Peter's company and intended to establish a protectorate in the Africa Great Lakes region. Peters then recruited specialists who began exploring south to the Rufiji River and north to Wichu, near Lamu on the coast. When the Sultan of Zanzibar protested, since he claimed to be ruler on the mainland as well, Chancellor Otto von Bismarck sent five warships, which arrived on 7 August 1885 and trained their guns on the Sultan's palace. The British and Germans agreed to divide the mainland between themselves, and the Sultan had no option but to agree. German rule was quickly established over Baugamayo, Dar es Salaam, and Kilwa, even sending the caravans of Tom von Prince, Wilhelm Langheld, Emmen Pasha, and Charles Stokes to dominate the street of caravans. The Abushiri Revolt of 1888 was put down the following year. In 1890, London and Berlin concluded the Heligoland Zanzibar Treaty, returning Heligoland to Germany and deciding on the borders of German East Africa. Between 1891 and 1894, the Hihi tribe, led by Chief M. K. Wawa, resisted German expansion. They were defeated because rival tribes supported the Germans. After years of guerrilla warfare, M. K. Wawa himself was cornered and committed suicide in 1898. The Meiji Meiji Rebellion occurred in 1905 and was put down by the governor, Count Gustav Adolf von Goetzen. But scandal soon followed, with stories of corruption and brutality, and in 1907 Chancellor Bülow appointed Bernhard Dernberg to reform the colonial administration. It became a model of colonial efficiency and commanded extraordinary loyalty among the natives during the First World War. German colonial administrators relied heavily on native chiefs to keep order and collect taxes. By 1 January 1914, aside from local police, military garrisons of Schutztruppenach Dar es Salaam, Moshi, Iringa, and Mahenga numbered 110 German officers, 126 non-commissioned officers, and 2,472 native enlisted men. Paul von Lettau Vorbeck was a successful general in German East Africa during World War I. Economic Development Commerce and growth started in earnest under German direction. Early on it was realized that economic development would depend on reliable transportation. Over 100,000 acres were under sisal cultivation, the biggest cash crop. Two million coffee trees were planted and rubber trees grew on 200,000 acres, along with large cotton plantations. To bring these agricultural products to market, beginning in 1888, the Irsambara Railway, or Northern Railroad, was built from Tanga to Moshi, Tanzania. The longest line, the Central Railroad, covered 775 miles from Dar es Salaam to Morogoro, Tabora, and Kagoma. 
The final link to the eastern shore of Lake Tanganyika had been completed in July 1914 and was caused for a huge and festive celebration in the capital with an agricultural fair and trade exhibition. Harbour facilities were built or improved with electrical cranes, with rail access and warehouses. Wharves were remodelled at Tanga, Bagamillo and Lindy. In 1912, Dar es Salaam and Tanga received 356 freighters and passenger steamers and over 1,000 coastal ships and local trading vessels. By 1914, Dar es Salaam and the surrounding province had a population of 166,000, among them 10,490 that means school. Since Germans were the first colonialists to establish a solid educational program in the African Great Lakes region, the word shul has been borrowed into the Bantu Swahili language, the lingua franca of the African Great Lakes population on the eve of the First World War. In the most populous colony of the German Empire there were more than 7.5 million locals on only some 5,000 Europeans, who resided mainly at the coastal locations and official residences. In 1913 only 882 German settlers lived in the colony. In contrast, about 70,000 Africans worked on the plantations of German East Africa. First World War The story of German East Africa in the First World War is essentially the history of the colony's military commander, General Paul Emil von Lettau Vorbeck. A vibrant officer, he spent the war harrying the forces of the British Empire, tying down with his band of 3,500 Europeans and 12,000 native Askaris importers, a British Imperial Army 40,000 strong, which was at times commanded by the former Second Boer War commander Jan Smuts. One of his greatest victories was at the Battle of Tanga, where von Lettau Vorbeck beat a British force more than eight times the size of his own. Lettau Vorbeck's guerrilla campaign compelled Britain to commit significant resources to a minor colonial theatre throughout the war and inflicted upwards of 10,000 casualties. Eventually weight of numbers especially after forces coming from the Belgian Congo had attacks from the west and dwindling supplies forced Letal Vorbeck to abandon the colony. He withdrew into Mozambique, then into northern Rhodesia where he agreed to a ceasefire three days after the end of the war. On receiving news of the armistice between the warring nations, Letal Vorbeck was acclaimed after the war as one of Germany's heroes and his Schutztruppe was celebrated as the only colonial German force in the First World War not to have been defeated in open combat. The Askari colonial troops that had fought in the East African campaign were later given pension payments by the Weimar Republic and the Federal Republic of Germany. The German light cruiser SMS Königsberg also fought off the coast of the African Great Lakes region. She was eventually scuttled in the Refugee Delta in July 1915 after running low on coal and spare parts, and was subsequently blockaded and bombarded by the British. The surviving crew stripped out the remaining ship's guns and mounted them on gun carriages before joining the land forces, adding considerably to their effectiveness. Another and smaller campaign was conducted on the shores of southern Lake Tanganyika over 1914-15. This involved a makeshift British and Belgian flotilla, and the Reichsheer garrison at Bismarckburg. The Treaty of Versailles, Baron Fritz Wedel Jarlsberg, Norwegian ambassador to Paris, enjoyed a high level of popularity and influence in the French capital. Through diplomacy, he had originally intended for the Treaty of Versailles to have Germany cede German East Africa to Norway for the loss of men and ships in World War I during which Norway had declared itself neutral. The Liberal political party Venstre which was elected for government in Norway, opposed the conservative view on colonization and denied the offer which Jarlsberg had successfully secured in France. Instead, the treaty broke up the colony, giving the northwestern area to Belgium as Rwanda Urundi. German place names Most place names in German East Africa continued to bear German speakings of the local names, 
such as Ujiji for Ujiji and Kilima and Isharo or Kilimanjaro for Mount Kilimanjaro. A few exceptions to the rule included Wilhelmstor or Wilhelmsdorf on the Pangani River in the northeast of the country, Neuhornau in the Pear Mountains in the northeast of the country, Bismarckburg on the southeastern end of Lake Tanganyika, Wismanafen, its port, Gotorp or Neu Gotorp near the northeastern end, Langenberg and Neu Langenberg north of Lake Nyasa, Alt Langenberg, Neu Langenberg, Weidafen and Sfinkafen on the eastern shore, St. Moritz, Karondathel and Saxonwald, two gold mines, Neu Trier, Neu Bonn, Neu Bethel, Mariahilf, Mariental, Emmerberg, Kaiserauer, Ludorf, Friedberg, Fischerstadt, Peterswerft, Bergfrieden, Hohenfriedeberg, Hoffnungshaw, as well as German translations of some local phrases, such as Kleinerusche for Arusha Chini and Neu Moshi for the settlement that is now known as Moshi. Lake Ayasa was known as the Hohenloa Sea, and the mission town of St. Michael near Kahama was formerly more important. Maps Historical map of the coast of German East Africa, 1888. Historical map of German East Africa, 1892. Historical map of German East Africa, 1911. East African theatre in World War I. Gallery. Sisal Plantation, 1906-18. Sisal Factory, 1906-18. Ascari Company, 1914-18. Classroom in a German East African school, March 1914.